pom 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 Baby Shark. Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's show, I'm going to show you how to install the RealSense ROS driver. Today we're using a RealSense D435i camera. Right now I'm running the RealSense Viewer application. I've installed Live RealSense on this machine and I recompiled the kernel to support the camera. Let's turn on the stereo module. Gives you a sense of the depth. One of the things I found playing around with the RealSense viewer is that when I turn on the post-processing on the RGB camera, turn this on, I get a little performance hit. This is a decimation filter. I think the decimation means it decimates my frame rates. Sorry to the person who had to work on that filter for the bad joke. We can turn on the 3D viewer. There's the shark over here. You know how he loves his laser beams. So we get pretty snappy performance. And because this is a D435i, we can turn on the motion module and it shows up here. I won't move the camera around, it's sitting on top of the monitor. Let's close this up and set up our RealSense ROS driver. All righty then. On the Jetson Hacks Nano account on GitHub, there is a repository named install RealSense ROS. We have both Live RealSense and ROS installed on this machine. I will leave links in the description below on how to install those. Let's clone this repository. and switch over to that repository's directory. Let's look at the directions here. Here's our script, install RealSense ROS.sh. We can pass it the file path to the Catkin workspace. By default, it goes to Catkin underscore WS in the home directory. That is where we have our Catkin workspace set up. Let's take a look at that. Let's install RealSense ROS. Installation complete. Okay, so let's test it out. Clear this off. We have ROS desktop installed on here, so we can run RViz. Let's start up ROS Core. And in our Catkin workspace, let's source the devil. And we will run our viz. Okay, let's launch our RealSense camera. Open up a terminal. Source our devil. Let's figure out what we need to launch. Wander over to the source. Getting closer. Launch. Let's see, let's try RS camera launch. Let's go Ross launch. Let's try that. RealSense node is up. That's a good sign. Let's take a look at it in RViz. Let's add our camera to RViz. 
Let's look at this by topic. Why well, here they all are. Oh, look at all the camera topics. We'll take a look at the RGB camera first. There I am. What else can we add? Here's all the camera topics. Let's take a look at the depth image. Oh, that's a pretty good representation. What else can we look at? Oh, the infrared images. Okay. Oh, we can see the sparkles on it. The D435i has two infrared imagers. It takes those images and combines them to create a depth map. There's also a laser projector. In low light conditions, it helps with the depth calculations. Let's take a look at the other infrared image. Let's rearrange these. There's also IMU information. It is in this accelerometer topic and the gyro topic. You have to have a frame of reference set up for it to make any sense. I do not have that currently. This should give you an idea of what the images look like coming out of the camera. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, the shark, dear. He has big teeth, dear, and he keeps them pearly white. Baby shark.